All right. I, welcome, everybody. My name is Carrie. I'm a regenerative health practitioner, and I'm just here to support um, your overall goals and, and um, health needs. And I'm a just really passionate about helping people thrive in their bodies. And I was just answering a question for Brittany Kinsey. So I'm going to finish answering that question, and then we will jump into support for each one of you um, that are here. But Brittany was asking about somebody that um, is dealing with chronic inflammation and pain and has a rheumatologist and also has had um, her colon removed. So I was just sharing that with that, the colon is such a huge um, part of mineral and sodium balance, as well as elimination of cellular waste. So um, large organ waste. So we have gland and organ waste. So not just undigested food waste. When we eat, we poop. But when our cells eat, they also poop into the lymph system. Um, and so our cells, like our waste from our glands and organs also end up in the large colon. Um, so her body is dealing with different elimination pathways, Brittany. So I would say in her case, I would recommend like either a regular ULT or the ULT Epi Kids would probably be really good, um, especially to have the zinc and vitamin D and A and C and E in there. Um, that would be my top recommendation. And then I would also add the ionic elements to make sure she's getting enough minerals and then the B energetic to support her adrenals because that chronic inflammation and pain is coming from um, adrenal weakness where the adrenals are the, the gland that should be producing the steroids to reduce the inflammation. And so anytime we have an inflammatory condition, we have an adrenal condition. So that's what I would work on to start and then plan for, you know, 60 to 90 days of lifestyle change at least. And, um, doesn't have to be perfect, but she's going to get a lot better just starting her process this way. Um, and that pain and inflammation comes from overgrowth of bacteria as well. So we'll be working on all that. So our programs not only alkalize, but they clean out pesticides, they clean out parasites, they get your bacteria back on track and they alkalize the body and help the body repair. And they're filled with micronutrients and the building blocks to repair bone, hair, skin, and connective tissue. All right, who is next? Lori, go ahead. Hey, Carrie, thank you so much. Um, I actually am going to speak for two people. Um, one person, um, her name is Precious, and she's listening in right now. Um, and so she, um, but she's at work. And um, her question, she, I'm going to send her a video after this. Um, but she wants consistency and exercise, and she wants to be able to maintain a healthy diet. But she also wants help reducing high blood pressure. Um, the blood pressure is a history in her family as well. Um, she's not on any medication, but numbers are high on and off. Great. Thank you so much, Lori. Um, so with the blood pressure, I'd love to know what is the high blood pressure is the top numbers at the bottom numbers at both numbers, because that makes a difference as well. text her and ask her that mm -hmm. um she's on a lunch break right now so I don't know if she'll be able to ask okay so basically what I would recommend is um whenever we're dealing with high blood pressure even with it what, what's genetic is the weakness to the adrenals or the kidneys high blood pressure really means low blood pressure which means that there's a low flow of blood moving through the kidneys, and that's how we're, we're actually associating that level of pressure. Um, but the bottom number is your kidney function and the top number is your adrenal function. 120 on the top to 130 on the top is good and healthy, and 60 to 70 on the bottom is the range that you're looking for. Blood pressure is always regulated through diet. Very, very easy to regulate through diet. The more protein you have, the more um, foods that are more toxic, the more your inflammation numbers will go up because you're adding stress to the organ that's trying to eliminate those toxins. Um, so the kidneys have to eliminate excess protein, excess starch waste, excess fat, excess chemicals, like the kidneys filter it out through the urine. So the more work you give it, the higher your blood pressure will go. So if she's not on medication, she can absolutely do diet and lifestyle change with us. I mean, that's literally what our program is called is the ultimate lifestyle transformation. Um, so I couldn't think of like literally anything better 
um, that will help her move into this. So I would say doing the ULT for 60 to 90 days with us, we have our September 6th program coming up. That is a 90 day transformation. So it's helping you in September, October, and November really get build these extremely healthy habits as you move into the holidays and you learn how to kind of maintain your change. And when you do something for 90 days, you really actually transform the behavior um, in your normal, your normal routine, your ritual, it becomes a new habit. So I think our program is actually perfect for her. Um, I, and so it sounds like she wants to work out and she wants to reduce blood pressure. And the reason I asked about the numbers on the blood pressure is because if the adrenals are hyperactive, I would recommend something different. Um, so let me know on those numbers, but if they're yep. underactive. She said both, um, both st uh, systolastic and dialastic number. Does that make sense? Systolic and diastolic. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All good. Um, so they're both high. So then I would just do, um, I don't know what high means, sir, if it's like 140, 150, or if it's 130. Like if I could get the numbers, that'd be great. I would recommend ULT and EpiKids. Or sorry, I would recommend ULT and Be Energetic. Um, okay. But I just want to know if those high numbers are really high, then I wouldn't recommend the be energetic yet. And and how is her energy throughout the day? So just like more questions for her. Yeah, absolutely. And she's listening in right now. Um, thank you very much. Um, I just asked her about what her numbers are. So um, um and Carrie, you recommended, what was that? You said a ULT, but to do epigenius. She could do either. Uh, she could totally do either if she's coming from a standard diet. Um, yeah, she could do either. I'm good with either. Do either epigenius or do or apple the appleberry, whatever she's going to like better. Okay. The epigenius, you know, is not, I think the appleberry has more like cleansing a little bit with, uh, with some of the wild grasses, but the epigenius is super nourishing. So either, either is good. And if she's doing a big diet change, I think the appleberry might be the right place to start. It's a little more filling. Okay. Um, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And then, um, I also have a, another friend on, Dawn, and she is going to come off and ask a question. So Dawn, this is my friend, Carrie, and Carrie, this is my friend, Dawn. Oh, hi. Thank you. Hi. Yeah, yeah go I, ahead and just let me know whatever you want to share with us. Yeah, I just had a few questions. So I struggle with, hot, I seem to struggle with my blood sugar levels, and I tend to be shaky. Um, I'm also kind of, whenever I eat, I'm just bloated. And um, what else? I have very dry skin. I have had a dry mouth for like a year. I actually went in for a blood test for pre-diabetic, but my levels are normal. Um, I've done muscle testing regarding food. And so I kind of know what foods I can eat and what I can't. I crave sugar, I crave chocolate. It's really, really a big struggle for me. It's like, I got to have it every single day. I do not drink caffeine because it makes me shake. Can't touch it. Um, gosh, I'm trying to think of what else. That's kind of the gist of my, the things that I'm dealing with right Did now. You? And two, probably a couple of years ago, I started, um, I was fasting and I put I don't know why I did this, but I looked up on the internet. It said to put salt in your water when you're fasting. And I did that. And the next thing I know for the past two years, every, I itch. So every four to five days, I take an Allegra because I, I start to kind of itch all over it. And it's the only thing that helps. And so no one's been able to help me with the dry skin or the itching. And um, so, yeah. What happened? We can't hear you. I'm muted. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> you are in the right place. So I'm really, really, really happy that you're here. Um, you shared several things. So I'm just going to um, kind of go through your body's trillions of cells and two fluids. You have blood and you have lymph. 
Blood feeds all your glands and organs. Lymph cleans all your glands and your organs. The lymph system is your body's sewer system. It's what gets waste out of the body. When that system gets backed up, then the body uses the skin as the as the third kidney. And this, will, this means like acids are collecting underneath the skin, it's drying out your skin. That's the dry skin piece is the internal environment is too acidic. So we're starting to get dry skin, dry mouth, same thing when you have dry mouth, this is coming from your gut. Um, the root is the gut. And so it's actually a really significant, important part of health because your saliva is what breaks down all the enzymatic levels of your food. So we need to deal with the gut at the root and cleaning up your whole system, your whole lymph system. And then the second thing that you mentioned is um, the itching and the bloating and all of that and the cravings for sugar is parasites. So, you know, candida bacterial overgrowth, which is very common. So don't feel gross or bad about it. It's nothing like basically what it is, is when we aren't digesting well, or we're eating foods like excess sugar, excess starch, excess fats, excess proteins, it requires bacterial breakdown. So like we actually have to produce more candida bacteria to break those things down. And then when we have more bacteria, we crave their food because they want to be fed. Um, so it's kind of a, a catch 22. So really working to bring down that pathogen load and nourish your body. Um, and all of the other things you mentioned were adrenal glands. Um, so, you know, having like the itching, first of all, is, is bacterial as well. It's fungal. And so it's actually, but it's affecting your nervous system. I think that's when you have the salt with the water and it started the itching. Um, did it start like instantly? Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Or I want to say, I, I think it did. And then it's just like, what is going on? And then, um, yeah, I haven't been able to get rid of it. That's all I can really remember. Um, mm -hmm. And no one can figure it out. Well, anyway. having an overload of fungus causes a lot of itching. And even if your numbers are normal, that doesn't mean a whole lot. I had lupus, Hashimoto, and fibromyalgia, and it took them five years to diagnose me. I knew something was wrong for five years. They kept saying, everything looks normal, everything looks normal. And then one day it was not normal. I had all these antibodies. And that's the reason I shared the body's blood and lymph because it's the lymph system's job to keep everything out of the blood system. That's like its main thing. And so when it hasn't made it into the blood yet, it's not, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It means your lymph system's still working hard. Um, so I would say, don't be dazzled by the diagnosis, just do the detox, do the inner work. But um, one of the main symptoms of fatty liver is itchy skin. So having too much bacterial overgrowth and having too much fat on the liver causes, especially at night, like, yes. like painful, itchy skin. Um, and it's a symptom that some women get in pregnancy because they get the, the liver is processing so many hormones as we are pregnant. Um, we have like a thousand times higher estrogen and all these different things. And then we're eating more fats and all this stuff during pregnancy. And so a lot of women get coleostasis. And it causes really painful, itchy skin. So just wanted to share that note. It's like, this is just an imbalance. And we need just need to clean out the liver, support the gut and support your adrenal glands. Um, so I feel really confident with, with being able to support you. But I think that we're going to have to work differently with you than we do with most people. Um, what I would recommend um, is actually doing our ultimate lifestyle transformation customizable to start. Do you have any food sensitivities? I think I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm gluten-free. Okay. That's really uh, good. Yeah. Everything we do is gluten-free and organic and vegan and soy free and all that good free stuff. But there is some oat in one of our shakes. Do oats go okay if it's certified gluten-free oat? Yeah. I, I will say when I was muscle tested and I don't know what you think of muscle testing, but I do it. I do it all the time. I love it. Okay. So my body, like I, I eat millet toast. Cause I can't have grain. I can't have oats. I can't have wheat. And I'm like, okay, what am I left with? So I don't know. I don't know if those particular oats would affect me or not. I don't know. Okay. Well then let's err on that side of caution and do the ultimate lifestyle transformation with the Epi kids shake, which is the shake I was just drinking. It's completely grain free. There's no grains at all. What I was wanting to add for you, why I was kind of going towards the customizable was the super meal LOV original, because I do think you're depleted and a lot of, um, 
minerals and the, the LOV means live organic vegan. And it's all, it's like 40 different sprouted plants. And it's amazing. It's very nourishing and has adaptogenic herbs that helps your body adapt to stress and inflammation. Um, so I was going to recommend one of those shakes and one of the other, but that's only offer that the customizable option is only with our power shake. So I would just say, go with the ULT Epi Kids. And I would most definitely add a B Energetic to support your adrenal glands. And so the ULT Epigenius Kids and Be Energetic, um, if they're gonna change the name to Epi Family, by the way, it's just our creamy chocolate flavored shake. This one has the gut herb in it. Um, this is the one I drink and I prefer. It's super, super, super yummy. You crave chocolate, so you'll like this, it's chocolate. Um, and uh, I would do that. And the Zinc Aid is gonna help support your immune system, ACDE all of that. And then I would do the be energetic to support your adrenal glands. And then last but not least, if it's in your budget to add on the ionic elements, it would to help the nervous system get supported. So when you're dealing with blood sugar issues, um, it sounds like low blood sugar, not high blood sugar is kind of what it sounds like. Do you get like lightheaded or yeah. Lightheaded, yeah. Icky. Yeah. 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 It's not fun. <laughs> So that's the adrenals. Yeah. And your when your adrenals are weak, your body burns through minerals and, and glucose faster. So you tend to need more support. That's why I was like wanting you to try that love meal to have like that more support. But um, this, this kid shake is awesome. It's what I drink every day. So you'll do well with that. So I'd say do you all to get the kids, the be energetic and the ionic elements. Can um, I ask, do I continue to, to take my vitamins or what are your thoughts on that? Depending on what you're taking, if it comes from an organic whole food source, yes. Otherwise, no. Most vitamins are made in a lab and they're isolates and they actually add more stress to your liver and your gut and cause more problems than, than, than good. So those are, I would take a look at all of them. If it's like raw whole food zinc, which I don't know a lot of the ones that are, then go ahead, but you won't need it because our superfoods have like your micronutrients, your amino acids, um, you're going to be on the zinc aid, which is vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, and zinc. So um, you should be covering all your bases just with the food. Okay. So can you? This sorry. Is, sorry, this is my Hi. husband. Hi. I'm going to just record what you said because trying to write all that down, I don't even know how to spell half that stuff. So um, could you just say the list of the necessary things and then the list of if we can afford it? Nothing else, just the list of it. Yes. So the list of what I was recommending is the ultimate lifestyle transformation with the Epigenius Kids Shake. And it comes with the zinc aid. So it's zinc, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, and vitamin E is in the zinc aid. And then the Kids Shake actually has all of your vitamin E and iron and the crazy levels of B12 as well as for her adrenal glands. Um, and then the add-ons, if it's in the budget would be the B energetic, which is $20, um, that supports the adrenal glands and it's white American ginseng, bee pollen, um, and cordygen mushroom. So it's like an adaptogenic herb. And then the last one is ionic elements, which is, um, it helps the body's mineral levels. So it's, it's basically sea minerals and it's helping her body that's burning through minerals too quickly so that she can actually stabilize and have more energy. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So those three yeah. items and that will be a full 30. Right? Yeah. Take care. Any chance you can listen to Tom for a couple minutes or we don't have time. Uh, go ahead. we got a lot of people to get to, but we can, we can be rapid fire. I mean, I wasn't prepared for this, but uh, gosh, if I was to say anything, I'm a carnivore, so I don't need a lot. You say vegan and I start shaking and itching. Uh, so, you know, I take some vitamins, just like normal vitamins, but, um, the other thing would be like memory issues, I guess. Um, I struggle with that. I mean, I, I, I think I have an average memory, but probably a low average memory, not, not a high average memory. Sleep. Uh, sleep all the time. Tired. Oh yeah. I'm always tired. I, I can sleep at any time. I could lay down right now and be asleep in three minutes. Mm. I mean, I, sleep long, but I can do it. And so I don't know if that's really an issue or it's just genetics. Yeah, no, it's not genetics. Um, so you, your diet, I always say like food should be fuel. So when food becomes fatigue, that's when we're eating the wrong food. So it went like meat items. The reason why I'm an advocate for plant-based diet is that's how I save my own life. 
um, is I had lupus Hashimoto and fibromyalgia and celiac disease. And I had lost five babies with my husband. Mm -hmm. And, um, and this is the work that healed my body, but your body gets into a regenerative state when you're in an alkaline environment. So meat is highly acidic and very hard for our body to break down. And so it takes energy rather than restores energy. Um, and then in addition to that, we are getting adrenaline from the gland of the animal when we're consuming meat. So what happens is we get this like surge, but it, it suppresses our own adrenal glands function. So long-term it causes adrenal fatigue, which is what you're dealing with. Um, and I can, I can tell just a little bit, you've got liver and adrenal stress going on just by just glancing. Um, that's what I do. I do like facial mapping and iridology, but those are the two areas that I think you're struggling the most is liver and adrenal. Um, so, I mean, I would recommend joining and if it's in your guys' budget, I would do a different cleanse for you. I would do the ultimate lifestyle transformation, but I would do the power shake apple berry, and I would pair yours with the super meal L O V original. It's really high protein. It'll replace yeah, it'll replace your animal meat. So we have um, amino acids, which are these, these super aminos 23 are plant-based sprouted non-soy legumes, but they absorb into your body in 23 minutes and they bypass the liver and pancreas and all the digestive process that happens. So it gives you more energy quicker and having five of these is the equivalent to 25 to 30 grams of protein. And you're going to have 10 a day plus your superfood shakes. And the love meal that we have has 40 different sprouted plants. So you're going to have more energy, more clarity, um, and brain fog in general comes just from the gut bacteria being off because nine out of the 10 signals go from the gut to the brain. So when the gut's off, the brain isn't firing. Um, when I took my course in gut health, I, I learned that like literally your brain is 10 pounds of gray matter. If, if there, if we didn't have a gut, it would just be sitting there. So it's not, nothing's wrong with your brain. It's, we've got to get the communication and the signals and the bacteria back up and running that are in your gut, sending the signals to your brain. So it's just like, and that's what our programs do is we kind of just work on sweeping the body out and getting the right environment in. Carrie, do you take this stuff kind of a rusty view safe kind of deal or? I've, I have, I have not missed today. That's not true. I missed one week of superfoods. I've not missed a day of superfoods in three years, except for one week when I was in Mexico and I thought I was pregnant the whole week. <laughs> I was like, why am I so tired and hungry? Because it makes that big of a difference. So what I will say is it replaces a lot of different things. I eat less because I'm not, I'm satiated. Like I don't crave, you know, I'm craving chocolate by three o'clock when I'm not, when I don't have my superfoods, because that's mineral depletion. You're craving magnesium um, when you're craving the chocolate and that's your nervous system. So I have like a lot of similarities to you. Plus you're dropping like coffee and if you're dropping meat, meat's extremely expensive. Um, so I always say our cleanses are 11 bucks a day. On average, what I have in a day is one to two superfood shakes and about six aminos. That's kind of my regular day to day. So I don't take all the stuff forever, but I do have a superfood shake in my life every day. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks guys. I look forward to meeting you. We have support calls for everybody here. Um, we have support calls twice a week after you start your program. They're Mondays and Wednesdays, so you're not alone. We have an app and we have all that jazz. So, okay, we'll move to Alexis. Hi, good morning. Thank you for your time. Um, I have a an older gentleman from church whose wife has neuropathy in her legs and her feet are black. So very painful and um scary and you know being told that there's nothing to do about it just you know pain medication and she doesn't want to do that so that that's all <sighs> okay well thank you um I mean neuropathy is serious it's related to such high inflammation in the body that it's affected the ner in nerve impingement she has poor flow and circulation um I would start drinking stinging nettle tea right away that's the cheapest thing she can do right off the bat order like from frontier herbs. Like there's a big bag, like 20 bucks. Um, you can get a huge bag of organic stinging nettle leaf. You want the loose leaf. And I would drink three cups a day of that. Um, and it's just a kidney and adrenal and a blood support. And it's just going to start getting the inflammation out. That's something she should start now. Um, and then start changing the diet, fruits, berries, and me melons, those foods that clean up the lymph system. 
um, and really support circulation and flow in the body. And then if she's open to doing our program, I would 100% recommend the ULT. I would recommend the ULT, but the B energetic, she needs to get the adrenals supported. So neuropathy is adrenals. Your adrenals, you have adrenal medulla and adrenal cortex. The cortex produces all your hormones. The medulla is your neural transmitter function. It's what regulates the nervous system and how it works. Um, so she needs to support the adrenals for sure. I would do the bioenergetic, um, and then the ionic elements would be awesome. But if it's, if it's in the budget, you guys decide, um, but that would really support her to thrive. And then if you need to go to a plan B, let me know. And we'll try to kind of taper down, but that, I think she just needs an overall support and reset, get the inflammation down. The cherry juice is going to be phenomenal for her. Um, yeah. And just helping her transition her diet. You can do this. And then like legs up the wall pose, like get, sit your butt on the floor, get your tush all the way up to the floor and put your legs up the wall, get that circulation coming down. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Kimberly. Thanks. Um, I have a friend, Jamie and a friend, Amanda on, I'll start with Jamie. Um, she is currently going through chemo, um, which triggered um, menopause. So lots of hot flashes, constant fatigue. Um, she has served our country and uh, was na in the Navy, so exposed to so many toxins, with, went through during, um, like just vaccinated like crazy um, when she was enlisted or yes. And then, um, but just trying to figure out like while she's currently going through chemo, she knows she is in the middle of it, but like wants to get as much of the poisons out, obviously wants to get the cancer out too. So trying to figure out, um, and that's, that's Jamie, I'll start with her. Thank you so much for being open to share on this call. Well, first, thanks for your service. And second, I'm sorry for all you had to go through. Um, that's kind of led to where you are now, but I believe in the body's innate wisdom and ability to regenerate. So when you put your body in the right environment, you're going to get where you want to go. This is going to be a longer than a 30 day cleanse. I would recommend doing a 90 plus day process. Um, in the first month, I would do the ULT with the B energetic. I just stay there. If you can do the white American ginseng, that's going to help balance the hormones um, that can be off. That would be great. That's where I would start with just detoxing and getting on the plants and getting on the alkaline and getting on the fruits and the berries and getting the body out. But we need the drainage pathways open. So I would just start there. Month two, um, I would, we can revisit, but I would start to add in the fulvic zeolites to get some of this metal chemo out. I would love the cracked cell chlorella tablets um, to be added in because that's going to start grabbing onto those metals as well. Cracked cell chlorella and fulvic zeolites is what I would add in month two. And you might go to the ULT with Epi Kids month two. And then maybe month three, we move all the way up to the grain free pack. Um, and we can chat there on, on the add ons, but I would keep the B energetic and the white American ginseng as part of the protocol. Um, for a little bit. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. And then Amanda has um, PCOS, um, is, knows she needs to do a liver cleanse, has a lots of family history of diabetes, just at that point where losing weight is hard, but it's super easy to gain. <laughs> right. So, and just tired and has been told thyroid is fine, but she knows something's off. Um, and kids have been sick since like just stuff going on and lots of hormone issues. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. So P I have a great video on PCOS. If you're able to send it over, if you probably already have, um, PCOS is very much so connected to gut injury and to liver, um, being too full, essentially too much glycogen stored in the liver, which is fatty liver. And then the body becomes insulin resistant. Your liver is very close to your ovaries. A lot of people don't understand this connection very, very close. So then when the liver can't take in the glucose or cause it's too full, it's got too much fat and then it can't take in insulin. Then there ends up being insulin right around our ovaries, which is a hormone that causes growths. So, um, you start to, and also when the lymph system is backed up, it's called getting into an anionic environment and anionic, it means like sludgy. Um, and sort of things kind of like bind and clump together. And so she's got two of those sound. It sounds like those two things happening. So again, just getting out the environment, Linda Jo Bailey is a great resource for this. You could find her testimonial. She had PCOS for 17 years every month. And after doing our program, she has not had any, and she graduated from the Institute as well. Cause she was like, this changed my life. 
Um, and she was a nurse as well in RN. So she's a great resource if you want to get a testimonial from her. And she just did our program. She followed our programs and got rid of it. And like, I think it was the second month. So I would start um, the white American ginseng again, hormone balancer and the B energetic hormone balancer, adrenal. So those would be my two add-ons with a regular ULT. And I think that's where I would stay um, and just, yeah, just do the work and it'll clean up. And if you need additional support, you can, for the liver and detoxing the liver, you can um, find, like go online and like order milk thistle or organ grapefruit and start drinking it as a tea to start cleaning up the liver. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Tara. Hey, Carrie, thank you for uh, taking the time out today. Um, I wanted to talk to you about um, a friend who has um, Meniere's disease and she's starting to lose her hearing and doesn't want to go to a hearing aid. Yes, I actually have a video on Meniere's on, on hearing and all of that. I think it's on my YouTube channel. Um, but that is all related to excess fungus, bacteria, and chemicals up in the head that's affecting the nervous system and the ears and the ear canal. So in when you, she starts getting, is she getting vertigo like crazy? Yes. Yeah. So when you have all this excess congestion, it pushes the crystals out of place as well. Those are some of the things that happen, but this is all related to the environment. She can get rid of this for sure. You got to detox from the top down. So that means like changing the diet, getting the head to drain. Um, in Meniere's, I always recommend the back of the brain, the cerebellum is what's super congested. So massaging the head, back of the head down into the back, doing hot and cold showers. Um, breath work is amazing. And then change your diet. Um, get the, you got to get the fungal load down. The fungus up in the brain will cause ringing in the ears. It'll cause all kinds of things. And then that leads into the excess pressure and inflammation that happens. And then that inflammation leads to the vertigo. Um, so I would recommend our ultimate lifestyle. Who's your, who's your direct support, Tara? Um, Jen. J uh, Jen Rosen. Mm -hmm. Oh, awesome. You're in good hands. Great. So I would say I would, I would lean into, um, doing like the ultimate lifestyle transformation and the be energetic. Those would be where I would start. I wouldn't go too crazy. Um, but really making sure that she does the parasite cleanse a couple or a few times to really start getting the body cleaned out. She, Jen can help her deeper if she needs some neurological support or brain and nervous system support with herbs outside of Perium. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Tara. Okay. Now who is next? I have in my screen, Isabel and Coley. I, I don't know whose hand was up first. If anybody else does. I'm not sure either, but um, I'll just go ahead and go. Um, so I have a friend, Chrissy, who would like to ask some questions um, pertaining to type 1 diabetes. Chrissy, are you there? Hi, can you hear me? Sorry, my connection's a little weak, so I hope I don't go out. No, you're, so yep, you're good. Okay, hi. Yeah, I'm a type 1 diabetic and um, been about 13 years now since my diagnosis. I was diagnosed at 21 after um, gestational diabetes. Oh, now you cut out, Chrissy. And I just want to make sure because my it's it froze. Can you guys still hear me? Now we can hear you. You just came back. Sorry. Yeah, no, I was just saying I found out in like one of the most dramatic ways. Um, they told me everything was fine. I was back to normal. And then I ended up um, being uh, having an ICU stay comatose, unable to move after um, being in DKA for a few days and not knowing because I was unsure. And I was going to county care, so I was not getting the best care. It was kind of like the Band-Aid type care. Um and I just, I was ill-informed about a lot of things. So the first maybe two to three years of my life, I was not taking care of myself. And 13 years later, I'm paying for it now. So I have neuropathy in my hands and my feet um, and in my throat, um, gastroparesis, um, chronic dry eye. Um, I'm infection prone. So I'm always 
you know, under the wet, not necessarily cold or sickness like that, but just infections, bacteria infections, fungal infections, um, yeast infections in my mouth as well as um, in my throat, as well as, you know, in my private regions, obviously. Um, and I'm just like, I don't know if I need to change my diet further. I definitely change my diet. I do not consume um, high levels of sugar, especially not in drinks. Like I don't, I'm water all day. So it kind of, it's weird that I'm always so dehydrated because I, I guarantee you, I get my gallon a day. Um, I, if I don't drink water, I just, I feel like a desert. Um, so I have to drink water. Um, and those are my kind of my biggest concerns, just tired, fatigue, dryness, just feeling dry up my skin, as well as like my eyes, my nose my mouth um and I, I just I don't know I'm looking for an outside a holistic care approach to things because just the medicine world has not been working for me no and it will continue to fail you unfortunately yeah. um so you're in the right place yes dryness excessive dryness comes from too high of acids in the body I used to have this I used to drink water and I would be like I was like I could chug water but I would be so full I like couldn't consume any more water, but I was still thirsty. And yes. I was like, how? Yes. And it's because your cells aren't bringing the water in because there's too much waste surrounding your cells. Okay. So I would say eat your water. Okay. Like, eat your water. This is my yeah. water. Okay. <laughs> filled with electrolytes. So your body's bringing that into the cell. So if you are drinking water, every time you drink water, I would put minerals or lemon juice in it, fresh squeezed and use a straw so that it actually is getting into the cell because too much water can actually strip your body of its essential minerals. Um, and you can actually lose a lot of the hydration that you're trying to obtain by over drinking water. So I would work with, um, eating your water, and getting on fruits, berries, and melons and doing our programs for sure. This, these are big issues. So um, they're not small and light. And I would recommend the ULT with the Epigenius Kids because it has our zinc aid, A, C, D, E, and zinc. That's a great immune support that's going to start strengthening your immune function. Um, okay. And then that is a completely organic, vegan, and grain-free option for you. And that's where I would go with your diet, love. You okay, got these yeah. infections out. And then if, if it's in your budget to do the grain free, or excuse me, to do the virus sure, the antiviral herb. Um, and you can connect who brought you to the call again. Sorry. Um, Rachel, or I'm sorry, Rachel, is do you go by Rachel Isabella? Isabel Brenson. Isabel, forgive me. Awesome. So um, yeah, so great. So I would do um I would do the ULT Epigenius Kids. And if it's in the budget, add on the B energetic and the virus sure. Awesome. So you want to support the adrenal function, you're prone to infections, which is a sign of the internal environment of the lymph bacteria is thriving inside your body. Um, and we need to not. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think that's key. I, I just have had a hard time finding doctors that are like looking at everything in a whole. They kind of just focus on one thing mm -hmm. and then whatever they're fixing there kind of jacks up what's going on over here. And I'm just like, okay, this is like a never ending cycle of fixed Chrissy. Yes, absolutely. Coley just put a message in the chat. I'm going to help Greg next. So Greg, if you're able to stay for just a second, I'll be right there with you. Okay, go ahead. Um, yeah, no, you help yeah. so much. Thank you. No, 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 I just wanted to let them know that I'm going to help them in just a second. Coley, let me know she has to run. Um, but yeah, so you, we look at the whole person. That's what our environment, you know, you're one unit, your body's one unit and it heals as one unit as well. And so if you're not dealing with, you know, you got to start draining this stuff out. Mm -hmm. So getting the kidneys open, getting the limb system clean up, getting the body alkaline and getting the parasites out, you're going to get back in control of your environment. Okay. Is, is that ULT going to be um, like all this, is that also going to help her neuropathy? Yes, absolutely. Neuropathy is caused by inflammation and adrenals fatigue. Yep. Big time. I used to have completely numb hands and feet. And at night I would have to lay up and I'd put one arm up in the air until my feeling came back. And I have to rotate sides and put the other arm up. I was up all night and like numbness and tingling and ice cold feet. My husband would be like, are you dead? <laughs> How could your feet be that cold? That's um, sure. Yeah. I, this is all inflammation, compression on the nerves. Okay. So you can get rid of the neuropathy for sure. So I would do the ULT every kids and the be energetic and then the antiviral herb would be helpful. Okay, great. I jotted all that down. I will be looking into everything. Thanks. Thank you so yep. Okay. Take care. Okay. All right, Greg. Um, thanks for your can you, patience. Can you hear me? I can. Okay. 
Um, so I had a sudden onset of loss of equilibrium uh, January 11th of 2021. Um, woke up in the morning, it could, you know, could barely stand up. Um, it, it mitigated somewhat during the day, but I have been through all kinds of tests, all kinds of lab work, have done um, e EEGs, um, uh, what's the thing where you're in the tube? MRI. MRIs, blood work, et cetera, et cetera. Um, was working with some part of the time with Jeff Kotulski, who's an osteopath in Mankato, um, very holistic minded, et cetera, have been working with chiropractors. Have, uh, one of the chiropractors is the one that Coley does massage at his uh, office. Um, and basically from everything that I have read, it is not vertigo. I have no issues at all when I'm lying down or when I'm seated, unless I'm in a car where my head is bouncing around. Um, basically just when I'm standing or walking, um, I have never fallen. Um, but yesterday I was at a um, gender reveal party for my stepdaughter and I was squatting down, petting a dog and just tipped over backwards. And that's never happened before. I'm usually fairly stable. It was not a particularly uneven surface. Um, I walked the neighbor's dog um, during the weekdays. Small dog tends to, you know, kind of get in front. So I'll I have my head tipped down so that I can pay attention and not trip over the dog or kick the dog, et cetera, et cetera. And the dog that we had um, at the time that the onset of this equilibrium, same thing, small dog, didn't want to trip over, didn't want to trip over uneven sidewalks. And I know that's obviously horrible posture is to be walking along with your head tipped down because that balance point is all off. But even other times when I'm not looking down like that, um, seems to be no mitigation of symptoms. This is your hypothalamus. That's what's off. Your okay. hypothalamus gland is the um, is the literally the structure in your brain that right. causes all of your motor coordination, all of the signals that keeps your body stable. Like so, for example, if you were preparing to pick up a heavy box and then you go to yep. pick it up and you realize it was light, the hypothalamus would fire so quickly so that you don't fall backwards. Right. That's not working in your body. Um, and so basically it does this through the autonomic nervous system function and those signals are sent from the GI. So the gut is the root and the hypothalamus yep. is your problem. And um, what changed in 2021? Any new medications, any new introduction of metals, chemicals into your body? Oh, gee, we were remodeling my stepson's apartment. So there was lots of paint. I'm a carpenter. I was a carpenter. Uh, when I was still working. So obviously lots of all of the things connected with remodeling, paints, strippers, joint compound, climbing up and down ladders, stains, uh, you name it, you know, awkward positions for the body to be in. You're, if you're under a sink installing, or you're in a base cabinet installing a sink, your head's all cranked around, you name it. I was, I was doing it to myself and I'm no spring chicken. Okay. So that's the only, and no pharmaceutical intervention in the last two years. Um, I don't do any, they haven't done pharmaceuticals in 40 years. Amazing. And so there was no, I can't even say the word, this thing for the COVID. Yes. No, absolutely not. Great. Wonderful. Okay. So I think this is just chemical related, chemical toxicity related. So um, the, the solution is always to detox, to clean out the chemicals and the toxins Correct. that you're exposed to right. um, that's affecting your hypothalamus function. So I think um, I would really stay connected with Coley in our community. And I would okay. start you off if you're open to making some dietary changes just temporarily to kind of get the stuff out. So we suggest moving to a plant-based diet because that's how the body cleans the fastest. So if you want to get to where you want to go faster, go in. If you want to get just a little bit better, but you still want to keep a little meat, you can do that. It'll just go a little slower. 
Um, so we can help you meet you where you're at, but this is definitely a big hypothalamus and a nervous system disorder. So right. you have chemicals and metals that are affecting the neurotransmitter function that are communicating with your hypothalamus. Right. And so you're not going to see that on paper. You're not going to see it in the MR, MRI. It's like the neural pathways don't know how to get there anymore. Um, and so you have to rewire this essentially, and you will, your body is brilliant. And so I recommend getting your body alkaline and starting to clean out the GI is your primary focus because the gut, the HPA axis, right. it's called it's hypothalamus, pituitary adrenal axis. That's what's off in your body is the HPA axis. And it starts with the gut. So right. um, I recommend starting with our ULT our ultimate lifestyle transformation, like doing a 30 day reset, like just start cleaning the body out. But I would absolutely do the B energetic to support your adrenal glands um, because that's your neural transmitter function. This is part of the neural pathways there. You could start with just that. Um, but I think that once you say you're pooping two plus times a day, cause that's really important that you're not reabsorbing your waste three. Okay, great. Wonderful. So if your elimination pathways are open, and you're doing well there, you could add what's called the fulvic zeolites. And those are gonna start pulling onto metals and chemicals that are stored up in the tissues in your body. That is something I maybe say, you can start with it right away, but I might start two weeks in. Like just like get your body starting to alkalize before you just jump in and start detoxing hardcore. Um, but you definitely need to restore the HPA access. So I would, and Coley graduated from my Institute. She's a certified right. regenerative health practitioner now. So she's, she can help you outside of Perium. I would put, get, put you on the HPA access herb from Mira Herbals. Okay. So those are the things I would, I would do if I were you is, um, ULT, be energetic. Those are the Perium items. And then the non-perium items and Coley can get you connected with them or you can get them from my clinic. If she can't, um, HPA axis right. from Mira Herbals and a bowel strengthener. Are you, is your office over on 32nd and Bryant? No, I'm on 56 in Chicago. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I right. have been, I have been plant-based, I mean, 95% for a very long time. I was a raw foodist for 10 years. Um, so I, I juice, I do have wheatgrass juice almost every day, et cetera, et cetera. But I, you know, I think this was one of those situations where it was just obviously an overload. And, and we were on a timeline of trying to get this done so that we could get him in there and get the job done, et cetera, et cetera. And obviously as you get older, those processes slow down notwithstanding all the help that you try to give them. So I will see Coley on Thursday anyway. And so um, maybe I'll try to carve out a few extra minutes with her so that we can go over what you've said. Yeah, and I'll send her a message of what I'm recommending here as well. Right. Um, but yeah, you're, you're in the right place. I'm glad you're here. And yeah, this is, I mean, you've been to the medical and they don't have answers, so. Um, I'm surprised that none of them said this is your hypothalamus. <laughs> it's like the, the one that's like its main function. So well, here, here is one other possible consideration. And that is, you know, in my line of work, unfortunately, um, impacts to the head are not uncommon. You know, you walk into a, somebody has put a low door jam in or something like that, and you walk into it. I think I've only actually knocked myself out one time, and that was when I was still in college uh, before I got into my career. But it's it's almost inevitable that when you're doing construction, you're going to bonk yourself. You know, so you, if you're installing some base cabinets and you stand up and you forget the wall cabinets are there, and wham, you know. So it's just it's. I'm wondering if it might not also be a cumulative effect of you know, 50 years of smacking my head. I mean, it can be, it, absolutely. The body is incredibly resilient though. So right. I, I recommend when, when you get into the body into an alkaline environment, that inflammation will come down. Okay. But it sounds like the trigger was that you got pushed over the edge with the chemical toxicity load. Um, okay. 
my husband, when we were remodeling our house, he was like putting a brick and doing all the grout and he was using his hands. And I was like, what are you doing? Like, you need to wear gloves. His tongue turned green. Wow. Like, right green from the toxins from that grout. And I was like, you got to detox right now. That's heavy metal toxicity. You've got like high loads of chemicals in your body. Cause I would say if you're breathing it, you're eating it. Right. Are you, know? you, are you oh, just for your information, you're aware that almost all masonry products, uh, cementitious products are, have high levels of mercury, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> yep. I told them. <laughs> Okay. I was like, I mean, this was many years. It was eight years ago. Um, I immediately put them on a detox and um, a heavy metal detox as well. I put them on kidney and lymphatic herbs and chem metal herbs and his tongue turned green and black and then went and then went pink. And so, huh. yeah, he had all kinds of toxins coming out from that. I was like, you have to wear an N95 mask and you need to wear gloves. Like you just have to. So I think that that's what you're dealing with is, is a high toxin load. And, you know, it can be a cumulative thing of, of, of damage, but our body repairs itself. So right, right. I would get fully plant-based, but like, not like beans and nuts and grains. I'm talking like fruits, berries, melons, and green Correct. juices and like the alkaline side of the fence. And right. I love how open-minded you are, Gregory. I'm like so excited to meet somebody that's like, yeah, I do juicing and wheatgrass juice. And that's awesome. Um, <laughs> So you're thank, in the right thank, opportunity. Thank you so much. I'll, uh, I'm sure we'll all be in touch after I talk to Coley on Thursday. Sounds great. Thanks, Gregory. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thanks for hanging out this long, guys. We had a lot of people on today. Any more questions before we close out? All right. Well, I appreciate you all and I look forward to supporting you in your journey to wellness. And I, my favorite card is updates when people have the wins. So um, come hang out with us and let us know how your journey is going. Thank you so much, Carrie. You're welcome. Bye.